Oh, my name is David. And in this video, I wanna go over how an operator would process an alarm using the checked monitoring portal. This is the window and screen that an operator would see during an actual alarm event. The checked monitoring portal will be launched automatically by your automation software, and the operator will quickly see this information. As we understand, time is the most critical resource we have during an alarm. So with the checked monitoring portal, the operator has this information with just a few seconds. And what they also have is excellent situational awareness. The operator will see the alarm on the right side. They'll see what created the alarm with pre and post alarm information. And then on the left side, they'll see live video. With an alarm coming into the central station with just a few, within just a few seconds, an operator might need to see what's happening right now. And we provide that information on the left side with this live video. The operator can click on it and get a larger screen. They can click back to the alarm and see what created the alarm. Now, in many cases, the operator needs to have visual confirmation by the end user on whether this is an event that needs the operator to call the police department or first responders. So this is an option here called verify an alarm. When an operator wants to send this video to the end user, they simply click press verify alarm and then verify event. Immediately the end user the emergency contacts for that account will receive a text message. And in this case, I am one of those users. So I'm gonna receive a text message and I'm going to begin to process that video. I'm gonna open it up on my phone. And then the operator also sees, they have a countdown determining how long they should wait before they proceed per the central station operation guidelines. But I'm gonna check this and I get to see on my phone what created that event. Now, the operator sees that David Erickson has checked the video. That means I have looked at this video on my phone as well. As the end user, I'm going to say dispatch the police department. The operator immediately sees that David Erickson has requested a dispatch. That's how simple the video verification process is between the central station and the end user. Once that operator has received this message, they'll begin their dispatch process. Now the operator can close this window here and begin the process of a site survey where they can look through the cameras of this site to see what else is going on on the property. And as I've shown in previous videos, the ability of the operator to monitor the site to provide better situational awareness to the end user or to the police department is critical. So the operator can simply then begin to check other cameras looking for a suspect. That's the process that an operator will go through during alarm verification.